In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape web pages and use the content from those pages in your AI agents. It's really simple, so let's get started. You'll notice here I have an AI agent and it's called URL to LinkedIn post. And this AI agent is supposed to scrape the content from a web page that you provide it and then analyze that content and write a LinkedIn post that I can use to post to my own LinkedIn. So you'll notice here, I already have this generate text block and it's supposed to write an attention grabbing LinkedIn post. And you'll notice at the very bottom that I need to provide it some content to review. Now, in order to get the content, I first am going to need to give it a URL to scrape. And so we're going to add a couple of things. The first is a user input. And this user input is simply going to be a short text input. And we want to name this input URL because it's going to be the end user that provides the URL. And we can say enter the URL you'd like to write a LinkedIn post about. And then uh, we can include some placeholder text. I'm going to have it scrape this web page that is an article on theverge.com. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that we have this setting for this user input called validation. We're going to want to make sure that when we are asking for a URL, we actually that use this validation. What that means is that if someone types in something that's not a URL, it's going to error out and it's going to say you must enter a valid URL. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add this as a test value that we can use when we test out our workflow. And just like that, we have our user input set up. The next thing we want to add is another block. And this block is called the scrape URL block. It's pretty simple to use. We need to provide it with a URL. And in some cases, we can just type the URL directly in. But since our URL is going to be different every time, we will utilize the variable URL that we've created. So I'm simply going to type in those double curly braces and we will select the URL variable. And now whatever URL we enter in this user input block is the thing that it's going to write the post about. So as always, when we use these blocks, typically we have an input and we have some sort of output that we use later in our workflow. In this case, we also need to name the output variable from this scrape. So I'm gonna call this scraped content. And we can choose the output format, uh, whether we want it text only or whether we want it as a JSON object. Typically, text only will be fine for most people, but if you're looking for more structured data, you should use JSON. Um, and then we can choose to auto enhance. So this is going to adjust certain settings on specific URLs to prevent any sort of scraping errors. We also have the ability to select our provider. And there are two providers on Mind Studio. There's the default provider, and there's also Firecrawl, which is a different kind of web scraper. If you choose Firecrawl, just know that there are some additional settings that you will have to work through, and I recommend that you check out our documentation on how each of these works. For most cases, the default scraper should be just fine. We also have the ability to include a screenshot of the top of the page if we are looking to utilize that screenshot somehow. I'm going to keep this disabled. So now we have our scrape URL block, and let's quickly review our AI uh, agent here. So we start the agent. We collect a URL from our end user. In this case, it'll be ourselves. We're then going to scrape the content from that web page. And then we need to provide that scrape content in our generate text block. So we're going to utilize this output variable. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And then inside of our generate text block, I'm going to use those double curly braces to call the variable and then paste the variable in. And just like that, we are now complete with our workflow. Let's go ahead and preview it and see how it works. I'm going to open up the draft agent. It's going to ask us to provide a URL so we can test and say um, not a URL and see if it validates. And you'll notice that it won't work. And so let's go ahead and restart the agent because it's not a valid URL. So that means that this is working. Now let's go ahead and try it with the URL. And we can utilize the test value, which is the URL for this Verge article. 
if I click on next, we will now see that it is scraping the URL and gathering all of the content from that page. And now it's sending a message and generating this LinkedIn post for us. So you can see here that the uh, AI agent is now generating uh, this LinkedIn post. We can then copy the text from the LinkedIn post and use it wherever we'd like. And there are other blocks uh, that we'll talk about in other videos where you can actually take this output and do something with it, like post it directly to LinkedIn. So to recap, you can utilize the scrape URL block to uh, scrape the content of any web page. You can type in the URL directly, and in some cases that's perfectly fine if you're scraping the same URL, but otherwise you'll want to provide it with a URL a variable so that that value can remain dynamic and you're able to collect that uh, through various ways. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, drop us a like, subscribe to our channel to get more updates on Mind Studio. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.